Hello everyone, I am super excited to uh, share with you the next launch for Audience of One Creations. It's something that I've been working on for a while. Like many of you know, there's been shortages on supplies and different things and so coming, bringing it all together has been a little bit of a journey, but it is finally done and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you. So uh, what it is, is, drum roll please. It is a wood decorative round and it is so big that it's covering my face, but that's okay. Um, and it has the word Shalom in it, which is the Hebrew word for peace. And uh, the O has been replaced with an acrylic round that says peace in different languages, which I thought was a really sweet touch. And then um, included as well on the bottom is a verse, which is from 1 Samuel, chapter 25 verse 6 which is the verse where David sends his men to go speak to Nabal and he or Nabal I don't know how you pronounce it but um and he has them say this to him when they greet him and what it says is peace be to you peace be to your house and peace be to all that you have so I thought that was a wonderful way to kind of greet your guest uh, when they come over and in addition there's a secret little thing here let me see if I can get it a second this is all live so you get to see all the in action stuff but let me see all right there's fairy lights as well that you can turn on and off and there's a space for you to change out the battery if you have to do so which um, should be fairly easy and uh, the round I made it originally with the intention of um, just being able to celebrate the feast. I don't know if you're like me, but my situation in the past has been, and my family situation in the past has been, it's difficult to find things to kind of decorate for the feast. You see a lot of things that are available for the different holidays here in the United States, and I'm sure if you're watching in another country, there's stuff for uh, different holidays. But when it comes to the Feast of the Lord, it's really hard to find um, pretty decorative things. And that was kind of my focus was to be able to have something pretty to help celebrate the feast. So, for example, in my case, I did not grow up celebrating the feast. I have always, I was always a Christian. I was born into the faith, but I was not um, celebrating the feast. And so this came later in life. And when it's something that you weren't born with, sometimes it can be hard to kind of integrate and incorporate um, those different things into your life. And I was just looking for ways to kind of help that process and to kind of help to anticipate the feast and kind of help to make the house feel festive and, and look nice for those types of things. So that was kind of the idea with this collection that I'm coming out with with decorative rounds and there's some other little things that are coming out soon that you'll be seeing. Um, but that was my focus. And so when I did uh, the round, what I did was <clears throat> The first one that I created was the counting of the Omer. As you know, the Feast of Shavuot is coming up very quickly. Um, we have Pesach, Passover, uh, then the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of First Fruits, and then we have Shavuot. And part of Shavuot, uh, the Bible tells us that we have to count the Omer. We have to count the days up until the Feast of Shavuot, which is four uh, 49 days, seven weeks of seven plus one. And so this I thought was a really great interactive way to have your kids join in um, celebrating the feast, anticipating the day and kind of looking forward to it and making it a family activity. Um, and so with a erasable marker, you can write in the number of the day as you count down to Shavuot. So um, that was the first one. And then I said, well, what happens when Shavuot is over? What do I put on? And I said, well, it would be super cute to be able to uh, make that difference between the, the days of the week and Shabbat. And so I made a Shabbat round as well, an acrylic round. And the great thing is, is if you'll notice here, there's this little, um, I don't know what you would call it, but this little thing to attach the acrylic round to the wood. And what's great about it is that if you look, it has a secret compartment where you can see the screw. And so you can um, flip it open, unscrew it, screw the one that needs to go in it, and then you close it up like 
back so and uh nobody's the wiser and so that was the second one that came around but then i was like well it's not shabbat every day so then what do i do and that's where this final one the peace one came out because we all want our house to be inundated with god's peace right and so i thought that that was a great way to have like a year-round um kind of just declaration of peace in the house that would be festive pretty and kind of dress up your space um so for now those are the three acrylic rounds the acrylic rounds come in because it's springtime obviously flowers and all that kind of stuff is a really big inspiration so we have it in this beautiful teal color in pink lavender yellow like a goldenrod kind of yellow a wheat color and a, a soft sage color so you can pick and choose and that'll be on the website for you to take a look at and kind of decide what you want to do um and so the round will be coming with these three acrylic rounds the little acrylic rounds and then later on i will i have in the works already some acrylic rounds for the fall feast and for different things and i think that'll be really great to kind of uh, add to the collection later on so i'm super super excited about being able to offer this i know that uh passover as i said and and the the spring feasts are right around the corner so i was rushing to kind of get this out there so that um you can have it in your home to help you celebrate the feast and one last thing that i want to let you know is that this bow this pretty pretty bow with the fairy lights which i love is uh detachable it is uh connected via hook and loop or velcro and so uh, there will be other bow options online and if you're crafty yourself and you just want to make a different bow for a different occasion or so that it can go uh, with your personal decor in your home, you can make your own bow and attach it as well. But you have that option as well. So it's all interchangeable. And I just, I'm really, really proud of it. I think it's really pretty. I made it on half inch plywood. Um, I've seen everything from like an eighth or a sixteenth to a, f uh, and a full inch uh, with these decorative rounds. I personally feel that the full inch is a little bit heavy to be hanging on a door or on a wall. And the um, the thin ones are great, which I will be offering in the future if you just want something that's a, a lot more lightweight and you'd want to do it that way, that's fine too. But I felt that with um, the half inch just had like that nice weight that would made it substantial, but not too heavy to hang into damaged doors or walls or anything like that. So I'm super excited about sharing this with you i'm i'm really grateful to god for him giving me the ability to do this this is uh something that i've been wanting to do for a while like i said and just getting everything in place has been a little bit of a challenge but it's been worth it i i'm super excited to hang my own up in my house and i look forward to seeing your pictures i hope that you will tag me tag audience of one creations um so that i can see how you use the rounds in your home to decorate for the feast and I look forward to being able to provide more and more products for you to share your faith wherever life takes you, whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's um, a decorative round or some other little surprises that are coming down the road. Um, I want to be able to share that experience with you. So if you would tag me, I would be so appreciative. And I just want to take thank you for taking the time um, to hear my announcement today. So see you later.